hi guys and welcome back to my channel so, so today's video is just going to be what I, plan, what I plan to do different with my second child that i never done with my first Mommy. things that i let slip a lot and just mm. things that mm. i feel like after having a child mm. kind of is necessary now mm. so being a first time mum was hard and obviously there's a lot of things that i've learned mm. over the past three years uh, yeah. of being a mum to yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eva Rose so yeah. I decided that I would make a little list of things that I feel like needs to change with the new child in a way that I can change it for both of them so that they're not both totally different the way they act and things like that so I'm looking to change number one no mummy's bed never no matter how sick they are nothing ever no mummy's bed no one is allowed in my bed anymore because when i had eva rose she wouldn't sleep in her cot so what i done was i thought oh i'll just bring her into bed it'll be fine i'll get her out of everyone always told me no don't do it because they'll never get out of your bed blah 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 nearly three years on and she still tries to come in my bed it's honestly, it's not like, I would love to have her in my bed, but it's just not good on them. I need to kind of get her in her own room. I've tried, I've tried her so many times, tried so many different things to do with trying to get her in her own room, but just nothing seemed to work. But now that I think actually, for the last couple of weeks, I've just been trying to get her to go back into her own room, in her own bed. And I feel like the way it works is if I go lie in her bed with her until she's sleeping and then I sneak out, she kind of settles a bit better. That's the only way I've found to work this whole time. I only started that a couple of weeks ago and it's going yeah. quite well. Mommy. So hopefully that does Mom. continue and Mom. then... Yeah. Right away you go. You're in. Hopefully I do continue with that and that will go good. And then this means the new baby will not be in my bed. She'll be in her Moses basket until she's old enough for a cot and then she'll be in the room with Eva Rose. So that they're together because I don't want, I, f I feel like I'm going to end up feeling really guilty but I don't want Eva Rose to look at it like, I feel like she's going to look at it as in like, oh the new baby's in mummy's room but I've been pushed out in my room, how is that fair kind of thing. So as soon as the baby turns about seven months I think, depending how, depends on everything actually, depends how well she sleeps at night, it just depends on everything, um, I'm going to try and get as fast as I can get the new baby in to the same room as Eva Rose so she doesn't really feel a kind of left out kind of thing. So that was number one. Also, please, if you have any tips, please do comment below or message me on Instagram or anything, any tips on how to get a toddler to sleep through the night. Um, I put her to sleep about, she's usually roughly sleeping about half nine, but she wakes up again at 12 and then at two and then three and then four and then half six she's wide awake and I'm just like where 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 is all this energy coming from so I have stopped her naps as well just to try and get her in every time where she goes to sleep at night and sleeps right through because I'm honestly dying to be quite honest it is really hard because anytime I put her to bed I'm like oh yes 10 o'clock I'm going to bed straight to bed I don't even do anything I literally as soon as she's sleeping I'm straight in my bed but I'm at this kind of stage in my pregnancy where I'm not comfy at all so what I need to do is I need to just roll about, roll about until I get comfy and because I've always slept on my tummy personally always always been a tummy sleeper and I can't do it anymore because it's really uncomfy and sore and it's just so hard to actually get to sleep without doing that so it's just horrible at the moment but anyways let's move on so number two is discipline discipline. Eva Rose is and has been since she was born spoiled. I think everyone with their first child kind of spoils them but Eva Rose just doesn't behave. She's really spoiled. She gets everything she wants and I just feel like when she was younger I never really had like a strict discipline I wanted to do on her. I just kind of went with the flow kind of thing. Just kind of to be honest I'll be honest I'd give her everything she wanted. Um, but I just feel like this time around I want a real good set of discipline because I'm trying to discipline Eva Rose at the moment but she just doesn't listen to anything she's told and I feel like it's because 
when she was younger I never ever disciplined her I just let her do what she wanted basically so I do feel like that I want to really have a set discipline in the house for both kids so that just so that life's a lot easier and they don't even though she just doesn't behave she doesn't listen to anything I tell her I've tried to not to corner not to step I've tried everything she just doesn't listen I think she's just at that age terrible twos is lasting longer than I expected but I just want to put out there that discipline literally is something I really want to focus on on the new baby as well so on to the next one is screen time so screen time as I mean tablet phone any sort of device that plays YouTube for a start any sort of device that has YouTube anything like that even the TV actually as well I feel like even though it's because she has always been really into YouTube and watching like Ben and Holly and things like that I feel like she's always on a tablet or she just gets I just feel like I want to have more family time I don't really want to be sitting on iPads and watching TV and things like that I want to kind of switch all social media off switch everything off um, iPads, TVs, anything really and just have a family time a lot of the time as well I really want to bring that in so yeah that's one thing I want to kind of put in is no really much screen time so that we can have a good family time where we just kind of sit and maybe even just play games and just things that you do because I feel like I feel like a bad mum for saying this but um, I do feel like sometimes that we do just sit I just sit on my phone and just sits on the iPad or she watches something on the telly and I don't think it's really healthy at all Fair does a little bit here and there but not as much as she has so I'm trying to cut that out at the moment and then for the new baby coming hopefully she I was about to say her name there <laughs> hopefully it's not as bad in TCR so on to last one number four it will be the last one I've got to share is just looking to have a set routine of things we do like bedtime bath time dinner breakfast lunch obviously it's going to differ with the different days and how every day goes and what time people wake up at and things like that but I feel like having a kind of rough set routine is going to help around the house as well with a new baby so Eva Rose has always been the boss of this house if I'm honest she has always been the boss she tells us when she gets up she tells us when she's hungry she tells us when she's going to bed she tells us when she's tired she just does everything and we just kind of work around her but so, uh, so I'm just looking to kind of have a routine where I put Eve rose to bed at a certain time every night, she has a bath a certain time every night, dinner's a certain time every night. Just so that when, as well also when she starts nursery, which hopefully is soon, that everything will kind of settle into place and she'll be a lot more tired because I feel like... Bye! 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 I feel like a lot of the time as well, Hi. because we are stuck in the house a lot of the time, because as I said before and I will say again, just stay in the top floor flat, um, I feel like we don't really get out as much as we should and I feel like she's not really burning her energy off every day I can't, I can't speak today she's not really burning her energy off today so today no she's not really burning energy off any other day because kind of we're just kind of stuck in the flat a lot of the time and I just feel like I've been this pregnancy has really been crap on me and I've just felt like crap all the time really sick, really worn out I just feel like we don't get out enough but hopefully hopefully I get a bit of energy and we can start going out well to be honest she does go to dancing every Saturday so that gets her out but I just want to have a routine in so that everything goes well I just hope everything goes well with the new baby and soon I'll be doing a pregnancy update on what's going on and how I'm feeling so please do stay tuned to see that soon and that's it really that's really everything I'm thinking of doing with my second child that I've never done with my first. I suppose everyone does learn, learn from mistakes, as I said. Even though I was really, I was, what I was 17 when I had Even and I feel like I have learned from my mistakes, and I just feel like a better person now, so that I can come here and tell you guys everything I'm going to do different this time round. So thank you so much for watching my video, I hope you've enjoyed it, please do remember to subscribe to the channel and if you like this video please do give it a big thumbs up. Also if there's anything that you've done with your second child that you never with your first, please do leave a comment below and let me know. 
so that I can maybe see if there's anything else that I've left out that I might end up entering into it. Mm. You come say bye. Bye. Come. Say bye. Yeah. Bye. You say bye. Bye. Bye.